All right. Well, hello, everyone. My name is Eric, and welcome to tonight's information session from Neotech Academy. Uh, before we went on the air, I, I was I was uh, re made a request to everyone who had logged in, and I asked them to simply describe their ideal job, other than being, you know, a multimillionaire and you don't have to work at all. But if you did have to work, what are some characteristics of that? And some of those responses were uh, to make the money that I deserve, for example, um, freedom, flexibility. And I, as I was saying to everybody just a couple minutes ago, we're going to be talking about all of those things tonight. So during our information session, we're going to talk about who Neotech is we're going to give you some information about the IT industry and what really is our life-changing boot camp. And I think you're going to see why I call it a life-changing boot camp just a little bit later. And I'll explain what a boot camp is in case you're like, well, what exactly is a boot camp? What does that even mean? You know, we'll address all of those things. Before we get too far into this, folks, you might notice on your screen, it says starting September 15, do me a big favor write down that date, write down September 15. That's going to be the start date of our next boot camp, And that's designed to accelerate your learning. We're also going to bring on one of our graduates who was in the same situation as you, watching an information session one night and then went on to, you know, I, I, how can I put this, bigger and better things after going through our boot camp, So we're going to go through all of and, and you'll be able to um, ask questions of our graduate as well a little, a little bit later. So tonight's session is going to be action-packed and fun-filled. Now, we will probably go about an hour and 15 minutes or so. So, And, and the reason why we do that is because we want to make sure you get all the information that you need to make an educated choice as to whether a career in IT and being trained by Neotech Academy is for you. So this is kind of like making a school visit prior to committing to a university, <laughs> except a much shorter amount of time. So what I want from you, if, if you wouldn't mind helping me out here, is I, I want you to type the word yes or, or just type in the letter Y, and that'll be your, your, your commitment to being here for the next hour and 15 minutes, because that, that's really going to be the way for you to get all your questions answered, get all the information that you need. So I'm going to look in the chat over here and I'm going to see, oh, hello there. Hey guys, I'm, I'm seeing some folks just saying hello to me. So hello to you as well. And I'm seeing some commitment there from a lot of you guys. Good deal. Good deal. Now, just so we're clear, you're not necessarily making a financial commitment tonight. Don't worry about that. Uh, we're just giving you some information. Okay. However, just so you know, we do have a special offer for for those of you who, who like what you see, like what you hear tonight, and but we'll talk about that later. I don't want to get too far ahead of myself, okay? We're going to go through the tuition. We're going to talk about the money-back guarantee. But we have to do this all logically and in order. So if I just begin the information session tonight by saying, hey, here's our boot camp. Here's how much it is, blah, blah, blah. See you later. Well, that doesn't make any sense. There's no value behind that. And so I always like saying that we present the information. Then we'll go through the tuition, and then we'll go through the money back guarantee. We have to do it in order, because it's kind of like the my, my analogy is: let's say you're shopping for a house, and you tell your sales agent, "Hey, you know, just find me a house that costs five hundred thousand dollars. That's all I care about. Really, that's all you care about. How many? How about where it's located? What about what size is the? What's the square footage? How big is the yard? How many bathrooms? How many bedrooms?" So we're going to talk about all the important things, and then we're going to get into the, your questions, as well as, of course, your tuition, money back guarantee, all that good stuff. But I will say this, though. I'll give you kind of a tease, okay? This will, this is the least expensive, most risk-free way to begin an in-demand career that you'll probably ever see. And I'll stand behind that, and I think you'll see that a little bit later. So some of the fastest growing occupations are in IT. For the next generation, everything is going to be tech related. Jobs are available in uh, all major cities. But you know what? Remote is available as well. A lot of you said that you were interested in some sort of a flexibility, you know, remote type of opportunities. Those aren't a guarantee, but, I, but we do live in an environment today where there are more remote opportunities than at any point in our history. 
Now, some companies, if you are required to go into an office and, you know, this IT, uh, in this IT occupation, a lot of companies offer some pretty cool work environments and benefits other than just work from home. You probably have seen this on TV or videos where people who work for various companies in IT will, you know, film what, what, what a day in their life is like. And, you know, a lot of these companies have, you know, gyms, generous vacation time. Some even give free launches still. 401k bonuses, insurance, IT careers really check all the boxes for most people. Now, during the height of COVID, when many parts of the world were essentially shut down, QA thrived. Quality assurance IT thrived. There were already a multitude of remote jobs. COVID only increased that. And you know what? I always say that the one silver lining to the pandemic was that it taught people that, I would say, first of all, that tomorrow is not a guarantee. How many of you would agree with that? That tomorrow is not a guarantee. And, you know, it, it made people realize that they can't rely on the company that they're working for. They can't rely on the government, certainly, to take care of them. I mean, they, they did their parts. Yeah, but they really, you really need to have a plan B. And a career in IT has become and will continue to become that plan B and even a plan A now for many thousands of people around the world. Let me address this right here at the beginning. Don't worry if English is not your first language. Don't worry about your background. You might say, well, I don't have an IT background. It doesn't matter. And, and I'm going to go into more detail. We're all we're going to go into more detail about why that's the case as we move on here. Don't worry about your education either. You might say, well, I don't have a four-year degree. I don't have a master's degree. I don't have this or that. Or maybe my maybe you do have a degree, but it's, it's a degree in psychology or it's, it's a degree in, you know, something that might seem extraneous to IT. None of that matters. Here's the thing. What the companies care about is can you do the job, which is what we're going to teach you to do. And the reason why I point out the whole English thing, not being your first language, is that a lot of folks who are coming to the U.S., for example, coming to Canada, or they might be in other parts of the world, and they're like, you know what, I, I English is not my first language. Is that going to be a, a problem? No. Can you do the job? Yes. Can you can you speak some English? I mean, that's <laughs> that's that's certainly going to be helpful. I, I don't want to mislead you, but don't worry if if you're not perfect in English. Don't matter. Don't care. Don't care also about what your the companies don't care about what your age is. Don't worry about what your age is too. I get this question a lot because some some folks are like, well, you know what? I'm in my 40s. I'm in my 50s. It doesn't matter. We've had people from all career paths who have begun a new career in IT, all walks of life. What I'm noticing lately, and I, I would say this is probably about the last year or so, is that a lot of folks, this is just my observation. So it's just anecdotal on my part, okay? I have no data to back this up. But here's what I've noticed. When I, whenever I've done an informational session, I'm seeing a lot of folks from finance, real estate, nurses, teachers that are looking to make a transition to IT. So I'm just curious. I always like to ask this question. Um, how many of you are in a career right now that's completely unrelated to IT, which I want to assume is almost everybody here. But if you wouldn't mind typing into the chat, what, what career are you in right now? And, you know, what, what are you, and, and obviously, you know, you're looking to make that potential switch. So, so yeah, what, what career are you in right now? And, and maybe even, maybe even add how many years you've been doing it. I'm just curious. So Hanane is respiratory therapist. 14 years. It's a long time. And people are looking for that career change for, you know, a variety of reasons. And let's see. Jay, four plus years as an electrical apprentice. Ralphie as a GM for a restaurant for eight years. I'll just read a few of these. Uh, Anwar is software automation engineer. Nora is medical billing and coding, five plus years. So again, all walks of life, guys. We've had folks who were bartenders. They were parking cars. They were, you know, it seems like everybody's doing as, as you know, the gig work nowadays, you know, Uber, uh, Uber Eats, whatever the case may be, DoorDash. But they're like, I, I want some stability. 
and, and I, I want to get paid what I'm worth. Oh, so Fatima, you have kind of a background a little bit, right? So I worked, you worked as QA analyst and then scrum master till six years ago for almost 10 years. Well, good, good, good deal, guys. Well, it's a great, now what exactly is a software tester? Now, let, let's make sure we understand that. A lot of people, when they get involved with IT, and we're going to talk about this a few times tonight, they might transition to a career in software testing, and that might springboard them into something else down the road if they choose to do so. So what will you actually be doing as a software tester? And this might sound like a very rhetorical question, but it, you don't even have to answer this, but I'll just ask, again, I'll ask it rhetorically. How many of you have ever used Facebook? Or, or Instagram, or TikTok, or Uber, whatever the case may be. Everybody here has, right? So you've used these applications before. You know what a good application that works is like because you use it and it functions properly. When you try to make a purchase on an app or post something, it works. So that's what you bring to the table, you, having used technology. And then we're gonna give you some technical expertise and uh, some 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 hands-on knowledge, hands-on expertise on top of that. And, you know, you put it all together, and, and that's where you'll learn with our help how to do software testing. Now, a software tester's role in a company, guys, is vitally important. Because here's the thing. You are charged with making sure the software functions properly and is free of defects. So if, if you're the company, think about this. Do you want to launch a flawed product? and get killed with bad reviews. Think of all the money it would cost you. And that's where you come in because your job is to help prevent that. Your job is to find the bugs, find the defects. So, so what is a bug? What is a defect? It is, you might wanna write this down in case you're not familiar with it, but it's any flaw or any incorrect thing in a software program. It could be really small, it could be a typo. It could be the wrong color on the website. It can be as big as something that actually makes the computer or the mobile device crash and fail. It can be anything in that range. So what QA, quality assurance, software testers do is they find those problems, they find these errors before the customers do. Now, you might ask yourself, well, how will I know what to look for? Because you'll be given a list of what are called requirements. And so you'll simply go through the requirements and you'll make sure that the development team actually did what they were supposed to do. Does that make any sense? I just want to pause for a second. Does that part make sense as to just a general idea of what a software tester does? If you just give me some quick little feedback there. Good, I appreciate that, guys. Appreciate that. So again, you're going to go in there and you're going to act like the end user. You, you know, you're going to use the program before it gets to the public. Now, here's a big question I usually get is, well, do I have to know how to fix it? Do I have to fix the problem? No. Doesn't that make you feel good? <laughs> it's not your job to fix the problem. You just make a note that there is a problem, identify what the problem is, and then the developer actually fixes it, which is great news. So you're trying to find the bugs, find the defects. Now, the salaries, as you see on my screen here, they're, they're higher than the national average. Most major tech companies are seeking software testers on a regular basis, and it's a great way to start your IT career and we'll teach you everything you need to know. And what I would recommend, don't do it now, but you know, when we're done tonight, just go to go, go to any any website that you would normally go to go, you know, hunting for a job. Go, go to Indeed, for example, or wherever. And, you know, just search in your area for, you know, QA jobs, software testing, so forth. Okay, so here's what we did. We created a boot camp that teaches people from scratch on how to become competent in and have a career in IT. So as I said earlier, many successful software testers are not actually college graduates, as that's not a requirement in many cases. Employers just want to know if you can do the job, which is what we train you to do. So we train you in the skill set. And we even provide you some hands-on experience. You know, you're think about where you are right now. Where you are right now is you don't have that hands-on experience, most of you. So you're probably thinking, well, how can I get hands-on experience? That's what the boot camp is all about. We'll give you experience on actual projects. We're going to help you out with your CV, your resume. So that way, when you go to your first interview, and by the way, we're going to help you out with 
Job placement also, we'll talk about how that works as well. We're not leaving any stone unturned here. But that way, when you go to your interview, you, you can say, well, I, I've done this, I've done that, I've worked on this project, I've worked on that project. So we're gonna give you some actual real world experience on actual projects, like I was saying. The training is provided via Zoom, of course. Don't worry about having to, you know, drive to the you know a local school. You can interact with your instructors in real time. Super convenient. If if you're like, well, you know what, I get a regular job, there might be a conflict. What if something happens? You got an emergency? Don't worry about that because you can watch the replays. We record all of our sessions. So folks, again, we have a proven process. It can enable you to become confident and proficient in the IT field. Uh, we also offer, like I was saying to you just a little bit later, a money back guarantee in writing when I get you the tuition and when I get you all that, then I'll talk about, you know, the money back guarantee and, you know, how all, all of that works. Okay. All right. So course report, you may have heard of them. Well, at least some of you have. They actually rated us in 2023 as the best QA testing boot camp. That says a lot. I mean, there are a lot of boot camps out there. Ours was rated best QA testing boot camp. And if you haven't done so, write down this date, September 15. That's the start of our six-month accelerated course where you'll get real experience on real projects. And so think about this. Think about you know going through our going through our system, going through our boot camp, starting September 15, six-month accelerated course, get the hands-on experience on real projects. That then segues into that career and what's referred to as uh, SDET, for example, software development engineer and test. It could be a software tester, you know, QA engineer. And again, notice the salary ranges. So th the bottom line is after you finish the accelerated course, you can segue into one of these higher paying careers potentially. Now, after starting your career as a software tester, because you, because you, you will be exposed to so many tools and languages throughout our program. You can now use your new career as a software tester as a springboard into other career paths, such as software developer, scrum master. You know, um, Fatima mentioned earlier, I'm, I'm sorry if I mispronounced your name. I, I, I apologize. I mentioned that, you know, was a scrum master. Now, if, if you're like, you know what, I, I haven't heard of these terms before. What, what's an ETL tester? What's a scrum master? Is that like rugby or something? No, no, no. <laughs> For everyone that first starts out, you, the language is going to seem kind of foreign to you because you're unfamiliar to it. You're unfamiliar with it. But I, I always say this, you know, think about when you were in high school and you took, you know, one of those higher maths. Maybe, maybe you took, I don't know, maybe you took calculus. Okay, and, and like, you know, 10th grade or something like that, 10th, 11th grade. Well, how'd you feel the first semester? If you're like me, you're, you're probably thinking, why in the world am I taking this? But you know what? By the second semester, how'd you feel about things that you heard in the first semester? You were probably like, you know what? I think you know, I've, I, I've got that down. I've done that before. That's easy. And that's, and that's the way it is with us. You know, studies have shown that the best way to learn anything is hands-on. By the way, how many of you would agree with that, by the way, that the best way to learn anything really is in a hands-on type of environment? Anybody agree with that? You just type in yes, or if, or if you don't, you can type in no. <laughs> that's, that's fine, too. Because, but again, studies have shown that that's, rather than just simply telling you what to do, here's, here's how we approach it. We tell you what to do, yes, but we show you what to do and then and we let you do it, and we give you some feedback on whether or not it's being done correctly. That's how you actually learn. You learn by this hands-on environment being shown what to do, be, you doing it, and then we're, we're letting you know if you're doing it correctly. And again, the purpose of a boot camp, if, if you have military background, like before I went to college, I was in the military, I got money for college in the military. It's one of the main reasons why I went in. But, you know, we went through this thing called boot camp and it was eight weeks long. Well, we had live bullets flying over our head. You know, you're you're given you're you're immersed with so much. Every single day, something was going on. You had to learn stuff every day, you know, shortcuts to learning things, 
all these different acronyms. And it's it, at first it would seem overwhelming, but once you've done it and done it and done it and done it, then again, it, be, it becomes second nature. So why am I saying that to you? Because we've, we've taken that same philosophy, that same boot camp philosophy and simply created something to help you transition from whatever you're doing right now, no matter what your background is, into an IT career. All right. So guys, what I want to do now is bring on one of our founders, Elian, and he's going to introduce you uh, more to himself first, and then tell you a little bit more about Neotech Academy, tell you a little bit more about our boot camp, and we have a special guest coming on as well. So Elian, you can go ahead and take it away, my friend. Okay, thank you very much, Eric. So I can uh, start sharing my screen. Can you guys see my screen? Let me see. <clears throat> okay, thank you. Thank you, Mavis. So uh, my name is Elion and I'm one, I'm one of the co-founders of Neotech Academy. Uh, and I'm gonna talk a little bit about the program. And also uh, I'm going to invite one of our uh, students or actually now alumni who is working in the field. And uh, I'm gonna ask your questions to him to make sure that you're, I mean, he's gonna be able to answer all your questions that you have about this bootcamp or about his experience and stuff. So uh, how, what is the flow of our bootcamp, right? So we teach uh, manual testing. What is manual testing? Manual testing is that part of the uh, that part of the job where you are doing those tests manually, right? So we talked about that, say, let's say we have a, a, a web application, a software, your company is creating a software and you as a QA tester or software tester or QA automation, Right, so there are different titles there. You are working in this company to make sure that the product is is fine. The product is working as expected, right? So if there is something going wrong, you have to find those bugs, those problems before it goes to the customer. So before the update is done, you make your tests and then, right? And then if something goes wrong, you tell the developers to fix them. And then again, you always do your tests before it goes to the customer. So you do these things manually, right? So this part is manual uh, testing, right? Uh, part of the bootcamp. So even only with manual testing, right? You can work as a manual tester, but of course salaries are low and now more and more the companies are switching to automation, right? We meaning when I when we talk about automation, we say that you are going to do those tests with your script, with your code, right? So you're learning coding and then, right? And then you're going to write those tests with your programming. So... We teach manual testing, right? Which is part of the program. But which is more important, we teach coding. We teach programming. So we teach Java programming language. This is a very strong programming language. It's one of the most uh, strongest, one of the most uh, commonly used in the field. And uh, and that, right? And then it is like the main part of the bootcamp. So first three months, you learn about coding. You learn about Java programming language. After you learn about it, then we teach you testing, right? Automation testing, those tools that are used, right? So we teach you Selenium, Test and GQ Cucumber, and I'm going to show you the tools so that also you have a visual presentation of that part. So after see this part, guys, right? After you learn this part, you're able to do testing of whatever a user sees, right? It's called front-end testing, right? So uh, there's an application. The, the users are using the application, and you as a tester are testing that part that the user sees, that the user interacts with the application. And you can work as a front-end tester, right? Only by learning these three parts here. But we want you to go beyond, to have to be exposed to more job openings. That's why we teach you also about database and API. We call it backend, right? So all these data are stored somewhere, which we call a database. And then you are learning how to test the database, how to test the API. So that part of the software is working fine, even though the, the customers or the users don't see it. But that part of the software is right needs to be tested to make sure that everything is working fine. Okay. So after you learn about this part, guys, you are considered as backend tester so you know front-end testing you know back-end testing and if you know both of them you're called full stack tester right so you're right you're exposed to even more job openings there so this is right the technical part of the bootcamp but of course we also have those that part of we call it soft skills right we we prepare you for the right from for the interviews right we do uh, interview preparation sessions we teach you right how to build your resume we teach you how to apply for jobs, where to apply, how to right, communicate with the recruiters and stuff. So all that part is, which we call it the soft skills part of the, of the bootcamp. We are teaching, right? We're 
teaching those parts to you so that you're ready for the market. And then even after you're done, guys, with all these things, you're applying, you're getting uh, job calls, you're you are going to the interviews, right? We also help you with that part. So during the interviews, right, or even after you find the job, right, you get an offer. Is this offer good or not? Which one is better? Let's say sometimes most of uh, a lot of our students, they get multiple offers. Which one is better? Which one should I go with, right? And we are giving you hints, even that part. So we have a, a team which is designed for that part, which we call it career placement team or job placement team. And that that team will help you, right, with the uh, job interviews and with that part. So these are the tools that we teach, right, during our bootcamp. Even though there are a lot of tools here, I don't want you to be scared because we have done this one multiple times. Now we are with batch six. And if you are a student next time, you're going to be in batch eight. So we have done this one seven times until now. We have hundreds of students right now which have finished the bootcamp, who have graduated, they find the job. So we have done this thing multiple times and we don't want you to be scared. But I just wanted you to know, right, and maybe you can go do some Google research. Maybe ask your friends which are working in the field. This guys, Neotech Academy, are teaching these tools. Are these good enough? Are these enough for me to do this job? Uh, are these good, for example, right? We teach Java programming language. Is this a good programming language? Because there are tons of programming languages there, but Java, as I said, is one of the strongest there. Then you teach about Selenium. Selenium is, right, uh, opening a browser, interacting with a browser. And then uh, there's a fun part, guys, is that when our students, they learn about Selenium, they feel like hackers, right? They're like, oh my God, I can open the browser. I can interact with the browser. I can, I don't know, go to my Facebook account and log in there and do stuff there with just my code. And that's the fun part of the bootcamp. But of course, we don't not, do not do it for fun. We do it because they need to learn because they will do it in their job. So then you they learn about, right? Then we teach about Jira software. What is Jira, right? That's a project manageable tool which is used in this industry, right? Whenever the tasks are split between the multiple people in the team. Then you learn about Maven, right? Which is a, a project, right? Which is Maven project. And we teach about this tool and everything. We teach you GitHub, right? Which is how to collaborate with other people in the team. Postman and rest assured are the, as we talked earlier, right? I said about the API testing. So we do API testing using the Postman tool and rest assured uh, library. Then you learn about Cucumber, right? Which is a tool. It's not a fruit. It's not a vegetable. And by the way, guys, if you join the bootcamp, we're going to decide if Cucumber is a tool or a vegetable, right? So that's a, the, another fun part there. But of course, Cucumber is a tool that we use there. TestNG, right, is another tool, which is for front-end testing. And you're going to learn these tools one by one. Maybe you're going to spend three months with Java. Maybe you're going to spend five weeks with Selenium. Maybe only two weeks with Postman. But you're going to learn all those tools one by one and we'll be there. Even, right, guys, even if you go to the job and if they're not using Selenium, but they're using Apium, they're using Catalog, right? There are other tools there. They're not using Java, but they're using C Sharp or, or Python or other programming languages that maybe you have heard. It's not a problem, guys. A lot of our students and maybe uh, the, the alumni that I'm going to invite today, I don't know if he's using these tools or other tools. When they go to the, when they go to the company, even if they're using other tools, it's not a problem as long as you know the process they will hire you and you can tell them that I don't know. I don't know Python, but I know Java and you can ask me questions in Java. And then as long as you're able to answer questions in Java, they say, okay, we're going to give you, right? We're going to hire you and we're going to give you, uh, let's say one month or two to learn the new programming language. And then you're going to be working with this programming language. So, okay, what, what do we offer guys? How do we do this thing? So we do a couple of, project there so that you learn what is in real life, right? This real project that are done, right? To simulate the uh, work environment. Uh, you also going to learn how to collaborate with other team members. These are skills that you will need when you go to work there, guys, because you're not working alone. You're doing project with other people, right? So that you have developers there, you have other testers, you have BA, how to communicate with them, how to take your part and how to do your part in the project. So the project is big, but you're doing a small part in the project. So how to learn these things, you're going to learn this during bootcamp. So we're using the uh, latest strategies, the tools that are, as I said, I mentioned the tools there. Those are the trend as of right now. As I said, in the future, you might learn new tools, but it is very easy. It's very simple for you to switch from whatever tools we're teaching to new tools 
right? After you're working in the in this industry for a couple of years. All the classes are online. So you can watch as we're doing right now. Suppose that this one is a class, guys. So you can watch from home. Everything will be explained step by step in our uh, in our classes. And you're going to be watching, right? You just need a computer to follow everything. And you'll need Zoom. And you'll need the tools that we're going to teach to you. But, right, everything will be online. Everything will be recorded, guys. And everything will be shared with you. So... If you're doing a class today, this class will be recorded. The recording will be shared with you and you can watch it again tomorrow. Or if you're not able to join a class, you can watch the recording. So we have one-on-one -on -one training and mentorship. So we are very proud of our mentorship program. So uh, in our, in our, let's say, when our in our classes, we have a teacher which is explaining. We have two people or three people there that are the uh, TAs, right, which are assistants helping with the technical problems. But outside of the, our classes, we have our mentor mentorship uh, sessions. So we're going to, right after a couple of months, we group people, let's say 10 people in one group. They have one mentor assigned to them. He is joining or he's meeting with them every week. to ask, They can ask questions about, right, about the, the field. So our mentors are people who are being working as a QA tester for three years, five years, right? They have experience. Most of them are our students. They have been working in the field for years right now, and they are right meeting with our students to tell them how these things are done in real life and how these things are done in their in their company. And as I said, right, what I mentioned earlier, right, we help you, right? We're gonna have towards the end, of course, we're gonna have job market preparation, right? So where to apply for jobs, when to apply. So even when to apply for a job is very important, right? And then how to build your resume. And also, and one thing that is very important is we do our mock interviews. When we're done with our six months bootcamp, we do a one-on-one -on -one interview to each student. It's to simulate the real interviews that are done by the companies. So one of our mentors, one of our instructors, they will be meeting, right, with, a, or let's say have a Zoom meeting with a student and they'll do the mock interview. So what is this thing in Java? How do we do this one in Selenium? What is backend testing? What is white box? What is black box testing? So all these things will be asked. And then if they pass the interview, we give them okay. And then they, 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 they prepare the resume and they start applying. If they don't pass our interviews, right? What we say, we, we give them feedback and say, you know what? You're good in Java and Selenium, but you need to work a little bit more on your API or SQL skills. So go back, prepare, and then come back in two weeks. And then we do another mock interview to you. And if you're ready, then you start, right? You you get our okay and you start applying in the in the market. So, and then we, as I said, like we have a lot of students that are working right now, a lot of um, communication with different people. So if somebody has a job opening their company, right? They suggest it to us. And then of course, the, our, let's say our students, they do applications to, to, the, to those jobs, okay? And also, as I said, the last part is where we are helping them to maximize the compensation, right? In even when they find their job, guys, our students, let's say we had a student who got three offers, right? One of them is full-time job with a low salary. Another one is a, a part, not part-time, but let's say contract job with a higher salary. So which one is better? This one has some other benefits. This one has other benefits. So also we'll help our students how to pick the best and how to maximize uh, the compensation from the company, okay? So, this is the schedule of our mandatory classes. So by the way, guys, all the times here, I, I want you to take a screenshot, but of course, everything is recorded right now and it will be shared with you after the after the uh, session, right? So you're going to have an email with the recording, but you can take a screenshot. This is our classes. All the times here are Eastern time. So if you, if you are in a different time zone, make sure that you do your own calculation. So the classes are Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, three days a week, three hours each. So seven to 10 on Tuesday, seven to 10 on Wednesday, seven to 10 on Thursday. So it makes nine hours during the weekdays. And on Saturday, on Sunday, we have four hour classes. So it's a total of 17 hours, guys, every week. So you're learning something, you're practicing during the class, we give you tasks, we give you homework, and then you're right, you're uh, going to be able to rewatch the class, you're going to be able to do the homeworks and come prepared for the next class. So the, the important part here, guys, is that I want even for some of you, it looks, oh, too much hours. For some of you, it looks uh, 17 hours. I don't know if it's enough. These hours are enough, guys, but I want you to commit. I want you to make sure that 
you are like this, our bootcamp starts on September 17th and it will end on March, right? So from September to March, I want you to be ready for this bootcamp. I want you to, 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 to schedule your life accordingly because this will change your life at the end. If you take the bootcamp seriously, guys, at the end, you're going to be able to go to the interviews. You're going to be able to find the job. But if you don't take the bootcamp seriously, I can tell you now you're joining here and you're not a student yet. But I can tell you guys that if you don't take it seriously, if you don't follow all the classes, you're not going to be able to, to find the job at the end. So I really want you to make sure that you take this one seriously and to and to follow everything that all the guidelines that we give and everything there. OK, so as of right now, uh, I want to invite our alumni. So it's one of our success stories. So every time we invite one different student. So let me uh, find Yildirim here. Hey, Yildirim, just one second. Okay, so uh, thank you for joining. Uh, so as always, right, you're going to explain your experience during the bootcamp, and then now that you're working as a software tester, and then after that, I'm going to try to get their questions from them and ask them to you about, right, about your experience or whatever questions they have, and you can explain it as a student to, or ex-student to them. So yeah, uh, you want to explain uh, my experience or if so? If you can go over right how the bootcamp was, and then now that I mean, how many months okay. it took for you to find the job and everything, and then of course we're gonna go to the questions one by one, uh, and they're gonna answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Uh, first of all, um, so I didn't have any experience. It took uh, the bootcamp is seven months. So I studied economics back in back in Turkey, and I was doing my master. I moved here. Um, after a year, you know, after five years, uh, one of my students attended the boot camp and he told me to join the boot camp. So it was like, I didn't know, I have never worked with the computer before. I didn't know, uh, how to work with the computer actually, but I wasn't, you know, I didn't trust myself at first, uh, by, but they encouraged me. Uh, so, um, I put a lot of effort. I studied like 10, at least, uh, you know, 10 hours every day. Um, and I really you know, uh, I agree with the alien because you need to put really, you know, the the work on here. Like you need to study and you need to understand what is going on with the bootcamp and especially the programming uh, part. Like uh, if you don't have any experience um, with the programming languages, like you need to put a lot of effort to understand. I didn't know anything, but like I said, I studied 10 hours. It was, um, so you need to sacrifice seven months to change your life. Um, so uh, you need to think about like at the end of what's going to, what's going to be the process look like at the end. You, know, you will have a good life. Uh, you will have your weekend. You will have a, you know, quality job and people respect. You're going to be engineer. If you're going to be, you know, automation engineer. Uh, manual testing is good too. I mean, you can start from there and then uh, move into the uh, um, automation since you know, you know, uh, since you know automation and Java. So uh, in my team right now, nobody knows what I'm doing. Like, and they're asking me like, hey, how can you know these tools? Like, because I'm working on Git Bash, working on Jira, working on um, Bitbucket, Jenkins, and, um, you know, uh, Eclipse and all the things. Like, they have no idea. Uh, so you guys are going to learn a lot of stuff here that especially our teachers was uh, great and they always answer my stupid questions, <laughs> you know, especially if you don't have anything, um, you know, when, once you start, like you see the brackets, right? Curly brackets or something like that. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> like, uh, like, you know, this, uh, the script is really, you know, uh, if you are not uh, belong to this field, it's, it's weird. But I, like I said, I started them. Uh, example classes before the bootcamp starts it's ha it helped me a lot because um, I studied them already and we went over them with my teachers and with the bootcamp and uh, it you know settled down in my mind and then I got better uh, yeah that, that was it um, it took uh, yeah it took out two months I guess it took two months to find a job um, every day I was applying at least 100 job 
and I was sitting in front of the computer like um, 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. And after that, you don't need to sit. If you if you're done with the uh, today, like you don't need to stay there. Just put your mind away, and uh, so you can have a re refresh. You know, you can refresh your mind to tomorrow. So uh, you know, you you need to be able to explain what is going on. Uh, if you sit in front of the computer uh, more than enough, like you're gonna be, you know. Um, exhausted so the interview is not going to be well for you you need to you need to uh, have some time for yourself too um other than that yeah pro project is important um uh, the project that you guys are going to have here that's going to be the hands-on experience that's going to be the um the collaboration part with your team members which are like let's say you guys have a scrum master one of one of our it's going to be one of our mentors and uh, they're going to tell you they're going to create uh, the requirements uh, they're going to have like sprint demo, sprint retro, sprint planning meeting, grooming. So that's the, that's the part that you guys can have the behavioral experience here. Um, especially so uh, the coding is not going to be enough, just the coding. The behavioral parts, you guys need to combine them together. And then it's going to be easier for you guys. Okay, so just to make sure and, and clarify everything, guys. So uh, if you have any questions, guys, you can ask your questions to Yildirim in the chat section of Zoom or, right? So I'll, I'll get your questions and, and direct them to, to him. And we'll make sure that we're going to answer all your questions. So first of all, uh, some of the questions, they don't have to do with him. So I can take them later or maybe I can answer them. So one of the questions is, uh, can the students open their microphones during the class, so it, we have two type of classes. One is uh, a class which is uh, generally in the soft skill classes. They can ask questions, and also with in the mentor sessions they can ask questions. But in the uh, webinars where we do the coding classes, in those classes uh, we don't allow the students to ask questions because it will be confusing. But of course, there's a platform where they can ask their questions there, and then the students, the teacher can read as we're doing now from chat. But there's a different different platform we call it Slack. So that is how it happens. So about job guarantee, guys, we don't guarantee a job. So I want to be upfront with you, but we guarantee you that you're going to learn everything. You're going to learn all the skills. And at the end, you're going to be able to look for jobs and you're going to be able to find a job at the end. And we're going to help you with that. But of course, there is no guarantee here, right? It's something that you're going to, uh, right? We guarantee you that you're going to be having those skills and you're going to be able to find the job if you if you look for one. Okay, so a question for you. So you can, so by the way, Yildirim, you said that you have a, uh, so I want everybody to be clear here. So you have a, a background from Turkey, but mm -hmm. you came to United States and now you you followed the bootcamp in United States and and you found the job in United States, right? That's uh, just to clarify. Yes, that's, that, that's correct. And in which state are you, if you can, I don't know if you can say which state. Yeah, I was in Maryland and I find a job in California which is in Irvine, uh, I moved here like uh, a month ago. They wanted to work on our side. Okay, so you, you moved and did, did they pay you for the for the move or not? So, <laughs> so I'm a contractor. Um, normally I was remote, mm -hmm. and no, you know, uh, but uh, they said like, how are you gonna ma manage the time uh, difference? Uh, I said like, I can move in the California and I was gonna move anyways, you know, you need to be in a big city. You need to be in IT, you know, where there is IT, you need to be there. So anyways, I was going to move and they said, okay, just move here. Like they, you know, they didn't pay me anything like that, but I was going to move anyways. So I don't, I would, I wouldn't care. Okay. So you are on contract base, not a, a full time, yeah. right? So, yeah. and in the contract base, generally they don't pay extra benefits, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. But, I, but I, yeah, I, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have talked to the, my resources manager and all that. Like they're gonna figure out they're gonna I think hire me as a full time after. Okay. After so uh, to be, nine months or something. Yeah. Yeah, you'll be expecting to to switch to full time. So what about yeah. people who are working? Right, they have a job. Can they do the boot camp? So that's the question for you. So did you have a job during the boot camp? How how were you able to manage your time, or maybe you didn't? So it's what's your experience? Yeah. Um... So I personally, like I didn't work because I saved up my money um, for the school and I didn't even work. Uh, I put all my attention on the bootcamp because the, I know myself, like you need to know yourself. If you, if you are familiar with the field that you think that uh, you, I'm going to handle this easily, then you can work. 
um, and there was a couple of my friends was working and they got a job, same like me, with the same time. Um, it's it's all about yourself, like. Uh, but it's better to not to work during the boot camp because you know the things that you are going to work on. It's a math and. <laughs> If you're not, uh, if you don't speak English, you know, you need to be able to understand all the things. Um, I would like to, you know, not to work if you are, if you have financial situation, but if you're not, I mean, that's, it's, it's not going to be a problem because you still can find a job if you join all the classes and understand what's going on. Yeah. So by the way, guys, depending on your finance situation, so most of our students, I can say they work and they do the boot camp, And of course, towards the end, if they can lower their working hours, it would be great. If any of them, they can, I don't know, like not work and only concentrate on the bootcamp, that's even better. But most of the students, they work during the bootcamp. And if you see the working, the, the class hours, generally they are designed in a way that there are right uh, at nighttime and also during the weekend. And if you are working during that time, still again, everything will be recorded and you'll be able to watch everything and prepare for the next class. So that, right, so if you have an emergency, if you cannot watch the class, still everything will be recorded and shared with you. And by the way, during the class, as I mentioned, we have people which are helping. Those are called assistants. They they help you during the class. If you have any technical problems, they help you also after the class, outside of the uh, class hours. Uh, so we have our technical people, right? We call them assistants that help you with uh, coding and with the problems. Uh, regarding the mentors, guys, we assign the mentors after three months. So the first three months, like every mentor comes in once uh, once a week and he, he shares his experience with the whole class. But after three months, then we form the groups to prepare them right for the interviews and to pre prepare them for the projects. So we assign the mentors. So that was one of the questions there uh, later, not at the beginning, because they don't have too much information at the beginning. So another question is, how was the interview and was it easy for you to find the job? Um, so uh, the interview process, it wasn't, I can't, I cannot say easy. You need, uh, you know, you need a little bit luck on that interview, the questions that you are giving and the environment, you know, maybe they're going to like your, like your attitude. Maybe uh, they're going to like your uh, knowledge. Um, but the thing is like, just, um, you know, just you, you just be ready uh, right after the bootcamp to go to market. So uh, you need to be on the market to get the experience, the phone calls. Uh, you need to pass the phone calls, and you know, you, after then, you you are gonna have one or two interviews. One is technical, one is behavioral. It is totally depending on the company process. Um, like I cannot say easy or hard. Uh, it is totally up to you, you know, uh, like I said, you need to know, you know, when they ask you anything about the, uh, the tools that you put on your resume, you need to be able to explain every single thing that on your resume. That's the, that's the, that's the thing they're going to ask you, you know, uh, you're okay, putting so on their it, project let's make it more in a like interactive way. So let's say how many interviews did you go? Uh, how many interviews? <laughs> I got two interviews, three interviews, two. Two? Okay. Yeah. And then uh, how many stages they were in general? One stage or multiple interviews in one company? So uh, the first company was a uh, three stage. And the second company was uh, my, uh, the, the company that I'm working on, it was two, only two. Two stages. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, and then as you said, at the beginning, it was a remote job. And but then they mm -hmm. asked you or requested you to, to switch to the site. And then you decided to move because you wanted already to move. Yeah. Okay. And uh, what about how many applications did you make? So you make a lot of applications to get to get uh, let's say some interviews. interviews. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, so I made uh, every day, like I said, hundred application. You know, I applied. But the thing is, you know, uh, um, I didn't have any experience on the phone call, and uh, my English wasn't that well. You know, uh, I don't know. Maybe I couldn't explain myself uh, better. I could have explained myself better. Um, I got phone calls. But not a lot. Mm -hmm. um, and it's, so, it's we... sometimes about timing because the time that you were in the market, it was a little bit slow, right? So you started yeah. in the, as far as I remember, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, market is was slow. Um, and you know, you're getting some fake interviews sometimes, and you're getting some fake calls. I don't count them, you know. Um, but 
yeah i mean uh, even if i got to interview it's happening you know because you know um you know the things that they need but you got a lot of phone call screenings at the beginning so and then after yeah. that you you pass to the interviews yes okay yes, and then another question how can we ask questions to the alumni that way that you're doing muhammad right so you just write your question here in in chat and i'm gonna <laughs> the student so was it difficult you said you applied uh, he so by the way guys you apply at the end you apply to a lot of jobs and not all of them return to you some of them they do a phone screening some of them they go to the interviews and mm -hmm. when you when you say he said 100 application per day right for probably a couple of months but some of the applications are very easy guys they just you go to linkedin and yeah. just give you a one click application but some of them you have to fill forms and you have to uh, apply right to make a full application but you have to constantly apply so even applying for jobs after we're done, as I mentioned, right? So when you're done with the bootcamp, after six months with the project, it goes up to eight, seven months. Then you start applying for the jobs. It will take you, if you're lucky, it will take you only one month to find the job or two weeks if you're really, really mm -hmm. lucky. But normally it takes at least two months to find the job. And sometimes if you don't take the bootcamp seriously, if you don't apply too much, maybe it will take you even more, three or four months. So depending, right? Depending on, on your, and on luck sometimes as, as the elder mentioned. So yeah, if yeah. you're stuck with installation, homework or something, can we have a Zoom meeting? Of course, we have our, uh, do you remember the name of the person who helped you a lot, Yildirim? Yes. So Sa what was the name? Sad. Sad, Sad. right? So you, you have <laughs> a lot. So you have assistants there which are helping during the class. And also there are assistants which are uh, which are helping you also outside of the classes. If you have any problems, you do a Zoom meeting. Like we try to solve it with only messaging, but if needed, also we do a Zoom call. And I remember that uh, Yildirim also had a lot of sessions with with uh, Saad because right, when you're stuck with something, we need to make sure that you help you with that step. And by the way, uh, you don't know, but also we hired Gary, which is another assistant. He's a, a, ah. another cool one from Albania. <laughs> so, okay. uh, because I know that Albanians are the best, right? <laughs> <laughs> I think so. Um, yeah. So you said you had so how many interviews? You said you had two two interviews. Uh, was it the second type of class that we can open the mix? Yes. So as I mentioned, so we can talk more about it later, uh, Mohammed. But uh, if you remember your Durham, so we had the uh, coding classes, right, or, or automation classes, and in that in those classes are webinar, which only the teacher is explaining, and you are asking the questions on Slack, right, or on chat. Yeah. Uh, but also you have soft skill classes when you are talking, you are communicating with the teacher, right? And on those classes, we definitely want you guys to record videos, to talk, even after like we give homeworks of explaining this thing, explaining this procedure, because you need to be prepared for the interviews, okay? Okay, so how is your pay? Another question. I don't know if you can give a range or something about your salary. Yeah, over 100. Over 100K? Okay. Uh and then you said that is one year contract, right? Yeah, it's one year contract to you know hire or extend or <laughs> okay. you know depending on what you're doing. Yeah. Okay. So uh, another one is ratio of the teacher to the student class. So those questions I can come to those questions later, guys, towards the end. So those are not for uh, Yildirim. If you have questions for Yildirim, you can ask them here. What challenges did you have during the academy? What was the most difficult part of the uh, of during the during the boot camp? And did Neotech help you overcome these change challenges, these problems? Of course. Um, the, so the most challenging thing is programming language for me. You know, the um, I mean, um, like to understand the like how does it works uh, to understand the general idea of the, how the how the programming languages works, like was the most challenging thing for me. Other than that, you, you have nothing to worry about. Like the Cucumber is based on Java. So, and the, all the tools that you are going to learn, that's why the bootcamp is teaching you Java because so you can build something to automate like from scratch. That's that's what you got to know. And then you are going, you're going to learn Cucumber to build, you know, be working with the, uh, you know, Java and the Selenium. So you can test the browser testing. So you can do your API testing and all that. But yeah, like I said, once you, uh, Java, I can say Java. And of course, the sad, I mean, the assistance 
they help me a lot whatever i you know and i'm the guy that i need to understand like if they if my teacher is teaching me something if i don't understand i definitely ask my questions you know i don't let them go that way <laughs> i bother them a lot <laughs> i can remember you were one of the students who are uh, asking during the during the class and that's good because always i i remind that to the student because even now we started the new batch like a couple of months ago, batch seven. And sometimes they see, okay, we need to memorize. And I always tell you, don't need to memorize anything. You need to understand the logic. You need to understand how to solve that problem, how to write that code. You don't need to memorize anything because always you're going to have a different prob problem and you need to learn how to solve that, that problem or that coding challenge. Uh Yeah, yeah. that part uh, it says something about uh, that part. Like I've, I'm working right now, right? So... Um, you don't you don't need to remember like they're not going to say hey don't use chat cpd some companies will tell you but i'm using chat cpd a lot i mean i can remember everything right and it is wasting your time and they don't want to waste your time like do it faster and understand what you're doing that's it yeah so as long as you do the task right even in the job they yeah. don't care how you do it right even if you get yeah. friend you get help from a from a friend or somebody still like they, they're okay if they're doing the job uh and fast and fast task. i mean to yeah. figure out yourself, it's going to be hard, but ask to chat GPT and tell us. Okay, you know. Since you mentioned Gen GPT, so always we get a question about AI. So do you think that AI, so I'm going to ask this question before they ask to us. Do you think that <laughs> AI will make Re us replace. lose our jobs? What do you think? Uh, personally, I don't think so, but you need to know how to work with the AI. Our vice president in our company, he says like, AI is not going to replace it our resources, but it's going to replace that whoever is not using the AI. Like you need to know how to work with the AI because it's, it is helping you. It is making your process faster. So that's the point here. You need to be fast. So we are deploying something here is if it can be fast, that's, a, that's the most important thing, but it's not going to be able to replace you because you still need to uh, manage that. Yeah. So it's a tool that you need to use to make your yeah. job more effective and faster and everything It's like let's say calculator in math, right? So you need calculator, yeah. you're using it, but doesn't replace you, right? <laughs> so yeah, they need to create person. <laughs> they need to create a, a it, they're they're going to do it, but maybe in the far <laughs> future. Yeah. Okay. So which, uh, what jobs are more in demand, remote or on-site jobs, according to your applications recently? Um, it was um, health and health. I, I could say health and health um, because nowadays, like people want you to work on-site. More on, I mean, on site will be more efficient to team because you are getting, you know, your face to face communication is really different than uh, remotely. So it depending on the company, but it's, I can say health and health, but maybe a little bit more remote. Okay. So how long did it take for you to do the, uh, to complete the manual testing? How many classes was manual testing, if you remember? Three classes, I think, three. Manual testing. So, man, yeah, I think, yeah. Maybe a you month. About, so you learn about SDLC, right? So what is the software with the development lifecycle? You learn about what are the testing, right? So you learn a couple of classes about testing. And then also you learn the manual testing, right? How to report those stuff. But of course, we always learn it because even if you're doing automation, you need to do things manually first and then you do the automation. So uh, during yeah. our projects, also you do the manual part and also the automation part. So that's what's the, the point, menu? Yeah. Mm, yes. Yeah, yeah, that's the point. I mean, manual testing. They will ask you ask you that question in the interview. <laughs> yes. So was Selenium challenging for you to learn and to master? No, 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 no. Selenium is easy. If you know Java, then Selenium is going to be more easy. And don't say Java is simulation or something. I see that people, they are still struggling. And nothing is simulation here. Everything has a purpose to teach. Everything, every single thing they are teaching you has a purpose. So that's why you need to learn every single letter they're teaching you so you can combine them together. Yeah, so thank you. So those are the questions that they asked to you, right? So those are uh, the questions. And guys, by the way, if you have questions about uh, the bootcamp, even like I'm going to come to your questions at the end again. So we're going to continue with our presentation and go to your questions again. But that was about uh, Yildirim. So thank you very much for coming and for sharing your experience. It was nice seeing yeah. you again. Yeah, no problem. I appreciate that you, you are inviting me here and I'm really happy. And because, you know, I was in the bootcamp and now I'm telling people that how, how was the process, which is making me uh, excited. And I really thank you guys. I hope 
you guys will join here and i don't think that you guys regret if you really put some attention here put some effort you will get a job finally eventually thank you so much and, uh, yeah thank you. thank you very much you guys have a good night okay so we're going to continue with the presentation guys let me continue with my presentation here uh i can leave right <laughs> yeah 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 thank you <laughs> definitely <laughs> thanks uh so how you learn guys so i i we mentioned so i saw some of the questions and they're good questions so we have classes all the, our classes are live so i've seen other boot camps they are doing it with recordings we don't do it with recordings we always do the class live as we're doing right now we're explaining something we're getting your questions we're interacting with the teacher and if you have any problems as i said we have uh, assistance there to help and everything of course will be recorded and shared with you so that if you want to rewatch it or if you couldn't watch it and you want to watch it it will be shared with you right in in a platform uh as i said there is a individual project and there is a group project that will be done there uh, for you during the boot camp right so but of course every day right not every day but five days a week we have classes we have uh we give tasks we give homework every time so that you learn it step by step and then after three months are done then we give a group project to you. As I said, you have a mentor. He will be managing your group. He'll help you with the project, but you're going to be able to do the project on your own and you're going to learn about everything. So every week we have our office hours. So outside of these classes, guys, so I share the schedule with you, but outside of those hours, we have uh, one or two hours per week. So one of our uh, instructors, they are there to help you if you have any problems. Uh, every day, right? Every after every class, we share homework with you so that you do it up up to the next class. Uh, we give coding challenges. We have a platform we call it Replit. So you do a lot of coding challenges so that you you learn about this process, guys. In six months, guys, you start from zero with no experience, like uh, Yildirim and others there. And then during these six months, you are learning step by step, bit by bit, bite by bite, whatever it's called, step by step. You are learning. And then at the end, you're going to be at the position that you are able to look for a job. You're able to find a job. As I said, we have a final ass assessment. So I saw a question there. I want to answer that one. So as I said, we do the mock interview. Mock interview, right? So uh, is the final assessment when we see if you have learned everything, if you're ready for the market. Uh, of course, we give a certificate to you guys at the end for the bootcamp completion. But more important than the certificate is you being able to find a job. You finding a job. I can give you 10 certificates. If you don't find a job, it's zero, right? It doesn't matter. What we want, we want you to be able to find a job and to be working as a tester at the end. That is our success, right? Not a certificate that we can give to you and you can get any anywhere. Uh, so every week, as I said, right? So we have, we're doing these classes on Sunday. I myself do the reviews of the whole week to make sure that we learn whatever we learned, we practice it again. We see that every like we, we repeat everything. And then on, on the Tuesday, we start with the new classes. As I said, we have individual projects, group projects. After each topic, we give quiz. So we give quiz for Java, a couple of quizzes, a quiz for Selenium, right? So we give a quiz to you so that you can do it at your own time to see if you have learned those stuff. And of course, I talked about mentor sessions. Mentor sessions are very important you are going to meet with your mentor with one person which is assigned to you and they will be able to help you, okay? So uh, how many people will be in a... So 10 people are with one mentor and they meet every week, okay? So the like one of... I mean, I, I would say this is the most important part of the bootcamp, right? So being able to be placed to a job, being able to land the job, being able to start working... Right, so this is right the at the end of the bootcamp, but this is very important. So we have right our mock interviews. We have our resume building process, right? So you build your resume. Our placement team they go over your resume, they fix problems, they add something there, and then whenever it's ready, you start applying for jobs. How to apply? We're gonna make sessions about how to apply, where to apply, right? And then if you're doing something wrong, right, we we do those sessions with with the class. So soft skills, right? So as I said, we give every week, we give you a, not every week, but like uh, at the beginning of multiple weeks, we give you uh, a video recording so that you can record yourself if you are, when you're talking, right? How you're talking, because 
you will need those skills when you go to the interviews, right? So you, we we work with your soft skills um, um, during the classes. So market knowledge. So as I said, where to apply, when to apply, which is the best, right? And everything there. Uh, even your title and your resume is very important when you're applying. So one-on-one -on -one mentoring. So as I said, we have a group mentors and also we have assistance, which will help you if you have any problem, like uh, Yildir mentioned, right? As, as Yildir mentioned, right? If you have any problem, you are having, right? Assistance helping you. If they cannot help you with messages, then they do a Zoom meeting with you and they help you with your project or with your code. Uh, as I said, we have our alumni network. So a lot of people are working there. Sometimes there are job openings in one company and they are, right? They will be able to, to help you, right? And to, 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 to be exposed to different jobs. And also salary negotiation. So even if this one looks easy, guys, so sometimes they try to low ball your side to give you an offer which is low, right? And then we have our job placement team, which will help you, right? Even with to negotiate about your salary, to negotiate about your whatever benefits are in your in your uh, let's say offers. So generally, guys, just go yourself in Google, look, right? But we are very confident that this is right, a hundred thousand plus is the salary, the yearly salary in United States. If you are in Canada, generally, right, it might be different for Canada. You have to do a research, right, yourself and see what is the salary. But this is, right, this statistics about United States, Glassdoor, which is a very important one. So depending on your state, depending on wherever you are, right, it might go even higher. If you're in California, the salaries might be higher. If you're in a different state, maybe they're going to be around this one, maybe even a little bit lower. But of course, this is the average salary, right, in in uh, United States. So, I I will share with you guys some uh, offers, right? So this is just samples. These are the offers that our students uh, were able to receive, and of course, we are hiding their sensitive information, right? So this was a uh, uh, maybe this one is Yildirim's. I don't even know, right? So one of for the students here, there's the information. So it is a uh, 120 yearly. So that is a salary, right? The base salary for this. Student and they give stock and everything, so you can go over this offer here in details. Another offer here, you see the salary is 100,000 uh, 100, annually. So this is uh, every first and 15th of the month, so twice a month, uh, $4,000. Of course, this is a gross salary. Whenever we're talking about this one, is gross salary, and we're talking about United States. Uh, another one here, it says B weekly, so $4,000 gross. And then if you multiply this one with, I think, uh, 26, it gives the yearly salary, which is, again, around 100, around 100,000. So you can do your own calculations there. Another one. So by the way, guys, we're talking about, right? So the, the info session today is about United States and Canada. But if if there are people from, if there are people from uh, outside of United States, we have another info session about international students. And of course, the salaries are not the same and everything is different. So if you are outside of United States, you can just drop off right now and you can uh, join whenever we have the, our international session. Okay. So another salary here, it says uh, 110 per year, right? So different, right? Different companies, different salaries here. So there are a lot of examples. I don't want to go to all of them one by one but sometimes they give you an hourly. So $50 per hour, how much does it make per year, right? This much, uh, let's say contract-based, if this one, when you compare this one with a full-time, uh, not a full-time, both of them are full-time, but one is contract-based, one is a direct hire, right? Which is from the company. So these are some of the companies that our students are working. Of course, there are a lot of different companies there, but these are some companies that you might recognize. So we have students working in, in AWS, in United Airlines, in Bank of America, in different places, right? So, uh, and as I, as I show it to you, right? So the salaries can go up and down depending on, depending on the time, depending on the state, depending on the company. Okay, so I will invite now Eric, he will go over the pricing. So this is probably the most important part, which you all you're waiting for. So I'm going to uh, stop sharing here and I will invite Eric. Eric, I think. All uh, right. Okay. Yeah, thanks, Leon. You can also uh, share your video. Thank you very much. All right. So guys, let me know if you can see my my 
screen here. Actually, let me try that one more time. So make yeah, sure we share see your screen. Yes. Time. Okay. Can you guys see my screen where it says average cost of education? I just want to make sure I. You guys have that. Okay. Very good. Very good. So let me ask. How many of you know someone who got a degree or, you know, a, a degree in anything, in any field, and they aren't even working in that field? I'm just curious because I, I have family that spent tens of thousands of dollars and to obtain degrees, and they actually have never worked in those fields, whether it was engineering or um, psychology or this, that, and the other. Um, check out the average cost of college tuition these days. Now, some of you are already aware of this. And when you throw in all the extras, such as room, board, supplies, other expenses, you're looking at on average over $36,000 a year in the US. And again, some of you probably know this, private universities naturally are a whole lot more than that even. You know, you're talking 50, 60, 70 plus thousand dollars a year. So think about that. Potentially over $200,000 just for your undergrad, we're not even talking about graduate school here yet, and when it's all said and done, you've got your degree. Do they even help you with job placement? You might not even get a job afterwards. And so, and so a lot of people are seeking employment in their field. They can't find a job after all that money spent. So they're, they're working retail or some job that they're, you know, they're, they're way overqualified for just to make ends meet. And when, when you think about it, I'm, I'm just going to throw out some random examples here. When you think about, let's use the example of, you know, maybe Ohio State University or Florida State or University of Virginia or Georgetown, Yale, whatever the case may be, they're not incentivized to find you a job. Now, when it comes to boot camps, because that's what we're talking about tonight, the average tuition is over $13,000, which is unattainable for a lot of people. So here's what we've done to, to help people get their new career and really their new life started we have the tuition broken down into two parts, and I want to walk you through how exactly how that works. All right. So first is the we'll call this the the regular tuition, which is only fifty two forty nine. And then what we have is an early bird discount, which is an extra five hundred dollars off, and that deadline is on June the first. So that's coming up on Saturday. It's coming up on Saturday to get that extra early bird discount off of $500. And that then brings the total to $47.49. Now, keep in mind, this whole process is risk-free for you because what because we're taking all the risk. And I'll explain how that works in just a second. This tuition is then paid in seven monthly installments, no interest of $679 per month. Again, it's paid over time, seven months. And then the balance of your tuition is paid by a placement fee. Now, let me explain how the placement fee works because it can be a little confusing for some folks, but we're, we'll explain to you a few times to make sure you get it tonight, okay? So we would love if everyone on this webinar became one of our students and ultimately a graduate, but, but a boot camp can be cost prohibitive for a lot of folks. So again, to help out with the cost of the tuition, we came up with what we believe is a very creative way to make it attainable for most people. So instead of being responsible, like all the other boot camps out there, for the entire tuition up front, we partner up with you. You pay a portion of the tuition, again, in installments, and then we help you find a job after graduation, and then you just pay a one-time placement fee of 85% of only your first month's salary. And even that is split up over four months. So again, rather than paying your entire boot camp investment up front, we're partnering up with you. So, so now we're on the same side of the table as opposed to being on the opposite sides of the table, if that makes sense. And you know, because we're gonna help you do, do the, we can't guarantee it like Eliana was saying, but we're gonna help you find, you know, land that first IT job. So. Would you agree then that it's in our best interest to not just train you, but also help you find a job as well? Because of course, because we're incentivized to get you hired as quickly as possible for the job that's most appropriate for you. Now you might be eligible for other discounts. 
For example, if you are a, if you're referred uh, to someone that you just have to, when you're filling out the application form, make sure that you indicate who actually referred to re referred you to us. That's, that's really key. Also, if you sign up with groups, you know, groups of two people, each student gets an extra $150 off. So you see the tuition, it, it just, uh, you know, it just, it just keeps coming down. And if, if it's groups of three, each student gets an extra $200 off. Groups of four or more contact us and, and we'll see what we can work out for you. But we encourage this. We encourage people to sign up in groups because, you know, yes, it'll, it'll bring that tuition cost even further down for you. But also, you know, you can encourage each other. You, you can motivate each other. You know, help solve problems. Do your homework together. Yes, there is homework. <laughs> Um, you can maybe uh, refer each other to job opportunities. So it, it's like it's it's almost like going to the gym with, with your buddy. So you got a gym buddy, and now you got a, a, a boot camp buddy too. Now here's the big question: What if I change my mind? Okay. Well, you you don't pay anything until the boot camp actually kicks off. All right. You, you start paying when the the classes begin, not before. And you can cancel for free anytime until the boot camp starts on September the fifteenth. And, and by the and by the way, folks, this might seem like a, a little ways into the future. You know, September fifteenth. Here we are, only at Memorial Day. You know, in the U.S. here at the end of uh, May. But you want to enroll now or as soon as possible to take advantage of the extra discounts because there will also be some prep work for you to do prior to class kicking off. So again, to summarize, you, you, you can't go wrong. Get a money back guarantee in writing. 100% refund if you decide to leave anytime until October 15th. So think about that. If if you decide after doing this for a month that hey this isn't for me, IT is not really for me, you know, it's I, I just you know, we'll, we'll I'll, I'll just move on and do something else. That's fine. 100% refund if you decide to leave anytime until October 15th. Again, folks, it's risk free for you. And we make it really easy to get a hold of us. You can schedule a call by going to neotech.live um, forward slash call. You can also go to neotechacademy.com forward slash apply. Uh, we make it, again, super easy to get a hold of us. Simply fill out the form, uh, make mention of the referral name, the discount code, if you have that. Uh, th this will take you all of about a minute and a half or so to do. And a member of our admissions team will get back with you as soon as possible. So, folks, don't pass up this opportunity to, to, to get your life changed, to do the things that you want to do, to get paid what you deserve. You, you saw from our graduate just a moment ago who came in um, not knowing nearly as not knowing anywhere near what he knows now, <laughs> not knowing anywhere near what he learned after going through the boot camp. And you might be in the same situation. Where you're like, you know, I, I don't know anything about IT. You know, I came from this background, that background. I'm I'm 40 years old. I'm 50 years old. None of that matters. Those are just excuses. What matters is, are you willing to do the things necessary to make a change? So I would just encourage you, don't pass up the opportunity. Schedule a call. You, you can also do that by going to neotech.live forward slash call. That's our preferred contact method. We are working actively on opening up more slots. So if a slot isn't available, you, you'll still get the discounts that we talked about today. So don't worry if the slot's not available right away. It's not your fault that a slot wasn't available. Uh, just email us and we'll, we'll get back with you as soon as we can. We'll make it very easy, as you can see on our screen here, to get a hold of us. But let's, let's do a, a quick little comparison. You know, why join Neotech Academy? When, when you're considering going to university, some of you might, or doing online courses, or just kind of teaching yourself. Well, our boot camp really addresses all of the concerns that people have concerning a career in IT. Now, when you take a look at your screen, but let's say somebody's self-taught. Well, how much time is that going to take? Who knows? I mean, it, it could take you months and months. It could take you years, even. I've got a friend who I... <laughs> I, it, it's, it's funny to me because he, he's been telling me for like, I don't know how many years now that he's going to read War and Peace. Why he chose War and Peace, I don't know. I guess it's because it's one of the longest books ever written. Uh, when I checked on him not too long ago, he was still on chapter one. It We by nature as humans procrastinate. 
University could be four or more years. Online courses are self-paced. Neotech Academy is six months. And by the way, folks, there are a lot of boot camps out there that will have, you know, six months, seven months, eight months boot camps, and they just fill it with a bunch of fluff. Just so they can say, oh, we've got a six-month boot camp. Ours is not fluff. These are these are tangible things that you'll be able to use when you get to that initial job, your, your first job in IT. Learning, if you're self-taught, well, you're doing it by yourself. University, it's, it's you know how it is, guys. You, you could be in a university classroom with like 100 plus people. It's not very interactive usually. Online courses are unsupervised. Neotech Academy, it's hands-on. It's live with real teachers. In other words, not just people who are teaching it, but also doing it. That's key. We won't go through all of these in the interest of time. I think you get the idea here. But if you look down at uh, mentorship support, that's a big thing. Well, if you're self-taught, you're your own mentor. Okay, what do, you, what do you really know at this point? Probably not a whole lot, right? You're teaching yourself. And then if you've got university, well, it's too many students uh, per faculty, self-paced again, you know, there's really no mentorship there. Well, that's just one-on-one -on -one mentorship. Tech support, self-taught, not really existing, not, not really in existence. University is very limited. Online courses, nah, with us 24-7. Oh, by the way, let me go back for a second. How will you know what to learn? I mean, if you're self-taught, it's, it's up to you. And yes, a lot of things in university are theoretical, aren't they? You know, I remember taking a business class from a, from a professor who had never started a business, didn't, never, never done anything like that. So they're, they're teaching things sometimes in universities where they don't really have any hands-on experience themselves. Online courses, yeah, it depends. But with us, it's market-driven. So what is what are, what are those careers, those career paths that are on the upswing? We're going to focus on those as opposed to things which are more antiquated. So folks, we've got hundreds of graduates out there in the IT workforce. Uh, you heard Ileana said it a moment ago. Uh, you, you heard from one of our graduates as well. Again, you're learning from people who have actually done it. They're not just talking about it. You know, we're passionate. This is all we do. Th this is not Neotech Academy slash bartending and truck driving school. <laughs> no, no. The, the, all we do here is we train people in IT careers. We're not doing a whole bunch of other things. It's, we're very focused on making you the best possible candidate for that first IT job. All right. Well, folks, we're going to get to all of your questions. I'm going to bring back Elian and answer any questions that you might have. So just fire away, folks. Okay, so um, thank you very much, Eric. So I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna answer the questions one by one. So there are some questions there. So one of them was about uh, <clears throat> one of them was about the the fee. So let me just explain the fee one more time. So the fee, how it works? Okay. So normally the regular for the for the uh, six months boot camp, the regular fee is let me move this one here. The regular fee is five thousand two hundred forty nine dollars. And uh, since now you're registering early and you're saving your spot and everything, it's a $500 discount as of right now. So the tuition goes down to uh, $4,749. And since it will be split in seven installments, interest-free and everything, so it is $679 per month. But of course, if there are other discounts like your group or other discounts, like it will go even down, right? So this is... 4,700, but again, if you if there are, let's say, if you're a group of two or if there are other things or some student has referred you, so it, it can go even more down, okay? So this is the tuition during the six months. After the six months, guys, when you're looking for a job and after you find the job, we also request your 85% of your first month, uh, first month salary. So this is, right, uh, this is only when you find the job. If you don't find a job, of course, you don't pay it, but after you find the, that that job, then also 85% of your one month salary. Let us suppose that your salary is 100,000 a year, which makes around $8,000 a month. So let's say around 7,000 uh, something, uh, which is the first 85% of the first month. And of course, right, this also will pay with installments. So 
of course, you start working, you settle down, and then after a month, everything is going great. Then we ask you for this, uh, this payment, and this will be done also with installments. Again, no interest. Okay. So that's about that's about the uh, tuition, and I can go over it again uh, if needed. Okay. And then again, right? If there are even more discounts, right? Even even there, if you're a group of two students, or if you're referred by an alumni, you even get some extra discounts, and it will go even more down. Okay. Uh, what is important here, guys, is that you are doing, right? Let's say you just reserve a spot. So you make a phone call, you discuss everything. If you have other questions, you can ask your questions to our uh, admission team, right? So there are there is uh, people which are going to answer you on the phone. And uh, if you reserve your spot now, you make a contract, but you don't pay anything. You start paying only on September 15th, which is the first day of the boot camp. Until September 15th, you can make a contract, you can cancel it. It's not a problem. After the bootcamp starts, you have 30 days to see for yourself. You're going to join the classes 30 days. Let's say, uh, as I said, the five days a week, there are classes, you're joining them, you're doing the homework. And if you see that it's too much for you, if it's too difficult for you, then of course, until October 15th, you can drop off. You can say, you know what? I don't want to continue. Can I get back my first uh, installment? And of course, we give you back your whatever you have paid so far and you can uh, go on. If you want to continue, then we are continuing right with the boot camp. When we get the second payment, we continue so on. So you have 30 days to decide. I don't think that you will need three months to decide. OK, so uh, there is a question there from Mohamed is saying that what if I change my mind after three months? Of course, you cannot change your mi mind after three months because you give the, the 30 days to decide about it and to see if it's for you or not. And as I said, during these 30 days, you will be refunded, right? And you're going to see everything for yourself. And you can, so the, the why are we doing this one, guys? We want you to try yourself, risk-free, to try to make sure that other people are telling you can do it. Other people are telling you that it's very good. Other people are, are telling you that it's easy. Try on your own and see it. And I, we believe in this thing. That's why we're giving this option to you, because we know that even if you don't do it yourself, you will definitely suggest it to others because the way that is designed, it, it will help you a lot. Now, another question about people outside of United States. Everybody, guys, will be able to find a job in their region. As I said, we also, we're going to hold another uh, info session about international students, which are in Europe or other places, right? So if you are in Europe, let's say, you cannot find a job in the United States. To work in the United States, you need the working permit in the United States. Of course, there are other ways, but they are very difficult. We don't want to lie to you guys. So it's not, this is not for people from, uh, let's say, from Turkey, like, let's say, Yildirim, right? If you're in Turkey, if you don't have a working visa in the United States, you're not going to find a job in the United States, but you're going to find a job in Turkey. You are able to find a job in the United States only if you have a working permit here. So I want to be upfront with you about this part, okay? So if you are in a different country, you will be able to find a job in your country and make sure you check your salaries and everything over there. And we're going to have another info session about people outside of United States. So, and the prices here, guys, are for United States and Canada because, and of course, for United States in US dollars and for Canada is the same exact prices, but in US, uh, in Canada dollars, okay? Okay, so... Is it clear now, Zoom user, about the uh, the payment? So as I as I mentioned here one more time, so you are paying right, you are paying the tuition fee, which is during the boot camp, and the rest, right, the other part, you're paying it only after you find the job. Uh, okay, about one on one mentorship, uh, of course, as I mentioned, right, we don't assign one mentor per students because we'll need, if we have 100 students, then we'll hit another 100 mentors. So that's not logical. But these are done in small groups and you can ask your questions one-on-one -on -one to those mentors. So the, if there are 10 people there in a group, they have one hour with a mentor, you can ask any question one-on-one -on -one to your mentor as you wish. That's what we meant, Mohamed. If you understand something else, uh, again, right, you can... Uh, Think for yourself, okay? If you don't like it, of course, it's not. Uh... Okay, so I explained one more time, Ralphie, about the tuition, but if you want me, guys, I can explain it uh, one more time. 
So what is the time frame for the early bird discount? The time frame for early bird discount is until June 1st. So until June 1st, you are, if you make a, like you reserve, you apply, you're going to do the application. Then you're going to do the phone call and you're going to get a contract. So you can do this process. You can start the application process until June 1st. And as I said, you have plenty of time to change your mind. You have plenty of time to give it a try. And then even after one month, you can still uh, change your mind. Okay. Any other questions, guys? I think that we took uh, one, one and a half hour from your time, but I, I wanted to go over everything. So we invited Ilderim. He shared his experience with you. You asked your questions to him. Do you have any other extra questions, guys, so that we can answer those? And then again, as I said, just go to this website, guys, right? So go to the website. Let me just open it here. Go here. You make, or this one here, make your application, guys. After you make your application, it's very simple there. You give your first name, last name, I don't know, uh, whatever, like there's some small information there, email and stuff. And then you schedule a call. So whatever is your time, let's say uh, tomorrow, month, uh, Tuesday, May 27th, you schedule a time there whenever you want to be called back. Our sales representative will give you a call. If you have any questions, you can ask the questions to them. Then after we clarify everything, we send you a contract, you sign the contract, and still you have time to change your mind until the first day of the bootcamp. It starts, you make the first payment, and then still you have 30 more days to decide about it, okay? So that is uh, all about, right? All about application and stuff. Any other questions, guys? So as admission shared there in, in uh, chat section, you can click on the link there. And of course, what is very important here, guys? Another good thing that we're doing for you guys is that we have our free lessons. So these sessions are done, right? with previous batches, batch one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if you want to have a look at the classes, guys, go to the link there, ask for free sessions, and we will share with you, right? We will share with you the classes. You can have a look even before you make the first payment. If you go there to that link, if you click on that link, you ask for free lessons, and those lessons will be shared with you guys. No cost, you can have a look there, other people can can uh, can look at that one and to make sure that right to make sure that you understand what is explained in the bootcamp. Okay. No, you don't pay anything until June first. You understand that one wrong, Mohammed? You make the contract, right? You make a call. You do the application until June first. You don't make any payment until September fifteenth. The first payment, the bootcamp will start on September fifteenth. We collect the first payment and then you have again 30 more days to decide about, right? To decide about if you want to continue or if you want to be refunded. So the first payment will be done on September or let's say after September 20, uh, 15th, not, not in June. Okay. So you don't pay any, uh, anything uh, as of right now. Any other questions? Yes. So to get the discount, yes, we said here. Very good questions, guys. So I, I, I'm i okay with a lot of questions. Yes, make sure that you go now, make an application. You're not paying anything. Make an application to, uh, let's say, to make a to make the application for the bootcamp. Let, just do it today or tomorrow. And then you're going to get a phone call. And then after the phone call, a contract will be sent to you and everything, right? And everything will be done step by step. So... We are giving this big discount, guys. This is the biggest discount uh, because we want to make sure that you are reserving your spot. We are doing the calculation, how many students will be there. So we're expecting, uh, let's say, uh, between 100 and 150 students. But of course, depending on the applications, right? So we, we're going to uh, say if we need more mentors, if we need more people, right? We can make sure that we do the adjustments. That's why, that's why we're giving this uh, information too early. Even though it's too early, guys, I strongly suggest you to start working for it. Start preparing for it because the bootcamp, it goes very fast. And if you don't take it seriously at the beginning, you're going to lose time at the beginning and you're going to be having difficulties. So make sure that you are prepared for it. Okay. Any other questions? Okay. So since there are no more questions, guys, thank you for joining.
this is recorded guys it will be shared with you and you can you can share it with other people uh, like with your friends if they want to join so that you can create a group of yours okay do you conduct multiple classes on the same time during the bootcamp no only one class everybody is there joining the teacher is explaining and then if they are having any problems the assistants will help the student so the classes are the schedule that i gave you so they're not multiple classes there's only one class here that's the schedule please take the screenshot of this schedule because that's the time that you have to you have to uh, be ready for the classes and you're going to see for your own guys you're going to see it and you have time to decide about it okay everybody have a good one good night